Uh, my name is Sandeep Hummer, and uh, I'm the portfolio manager of the South Asia Investment Fund um, at DA Capital, which is a an asset management company that's based in uh, New York City. Uh, the focus um, of my fund is to essentially invest in companies within South Asia and mainly in India. And it seeks to generate returns by investing in companies that are seeking um, investment support in respect of their refinancing and growth plans, um, acquisitions, management buyouts, and any kind of special situations. Um, prior to that, um, I basically had founded my own boutique investment bank that was based in India and focused on mid-sized companies that were looking for growth capital. And um, in the process of doing that, um, I served on the boards of a number of these companies that uh, we were um, advising. Uh, prior to that, uh, worked in the US uh, and Singapore with a couple of hedge funds um, and uh, before that on the sell side. So I have a kind of a wide uh, variety of um, experience for ranging from the sell side to the buy side. Um, Cornell MBA, undergraduate from Boston College. Um, also have a, another master's degree in finance from Boston College. Um, basically, uh, you know, the work that we're doing um, in, in emerging markets right now, as, as I've just stated earlier, is essentially to uh, find companies um, that have lots of debt on the balance sheet and notwithstanding the fact that they're great companies and have been growing their sales um, and their operating margins consistently because of cyclical issues, they're not able to kind of service um, their, the, the, the debt that's on their balance sheet and essentially have become non-performing assets for the banks from whom they've actually taken um, you know, their debt. So the idea is to kind of step in, help them uh, work with the banks, infuse equity, and, and bring their balance sheets uh, back on track um, and you know, allow them to kind of become going concerns again. Um, and the way we kind of make money is uh, when these companies uh, are perceived to have actually gone through their uh, you know, debt problems and having solved them, uh, the equity markets hopefully kind of reward them and we kind of, um, in, you know, we, we get our exit in the equity markets as a consequence of that. Uh, so we take active, uh, uh, you know, we play an active role. We take uh, board seats. Um, we serve on, um, you know, fiscal monitoring committees, and we kind of create a win-win situation for the companies that we um, we invest in. Um, doing business in emerging markets is extremely important because, as much as uh, the developed world has actually set standards uh, for companies uh, all across the world. Uh, the fact of the matter is that emerging markets is now where the growth uh, opportunities are. Um, a, because they're coming off of low base, um, low bases. And also because a lot of these emerging markets, they kind of operate, um, you know, still um, are, you know, kind of their inward focus. So they kind of operate independently of the developed markets. So in a sense, they become, um, you know, great, um, you know, diversif diversification, uh, platforms for, for investors uh, investing abroad. Um, and I strongly believe that, you know, in the next, and as, as, as do many people, that within the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see um, economic power uh, shift from the developed world to a lot of the emerging markets regions like China and India, which are really at the forefront of, of driving that, that growth. And therefore, one cannot afford to ignore uh, these countries because basically they're going to be driving, um, as I said, growth, um, you know, global growth forward. Um, for example, India alone accounted for 10% of global growth opportunity from 2005, notwithstanding the fact that its purchasing power parity for, its, for, for, for Indian citizens almost grew by three times uh, since the year 2000. So uh, can't be ignored um, and, uh, uh, you know, therefore, it's, it's, it's important for, for people to kind of study emerging markets. Um, and emerging markets are a very, very specialized field um, and they still remain esoteric uh, for a number of investors. So 
uh, when universities like Cornell and especially the Johnson School within Cornell actually create emerging markets institutes for the specialized study of emerging markets, it's actually um, you know, a fantastic opportunity for students, um, especially those students who can't go abroad um, and learn uh, you know, about, about emerging markets and their nuances firsthand. Um, and also the fact that, uh, you know, there aren't too many universities that are offering emerging markets programs makes the, um, the you know, the Emerging Markets Institute at Cornell and the Johnson School um, that much more important. Um, and I strongly suggest and recommend that all students, whether they're studying finance, whether they're studying strategy, management, marketing, must go out there and, and take courses, uh, you know, to kind of enhance their base, uh, in, you know, and knowledge of the emerging markets region.